Hey, hi, hello there, how's it going? In today's video, we'll be covering how to configure a Minecraft server that allows you to play with Demon Slayer mod. Now here I'll be using Eternos. It's a free online hosting site. Allows you to have, you know, around 20 players plus uh, allows you to play with cracked versions of Minecraft. Now just be aware, I'm not gonna show you how to install the Demon Slayer mod on your computer. I do have a separate video for that. You can go and find that in the descriptions below. All right, to get started, we want to go to Eternos website, which is eternos.org forward slash go forward slash, or you just follow the link below. Uh, once you get to the site, you want to go ahead and sign up. If you have an account like I do, I'm going to sign up with Google, but you do it any way you prefer. On this page, you can go ahead and create a server by clicking this plus create a server. Go ahead and click create. All right, so this is the main page. This is your server page. Now the Demon Slayer mod requires Forge 16.5. So we're going to go ahead and download that. You can see the software is at vanilla. And go ahead and go change and over here you just go to forge okay on this page you're going to go ahead and download this forge 16.5 you'll notice it says 36.2.34 uh this one does too i don't know why but you got to make sure the forge that you have on your computer uh matches the same one as this anyway go ahead and click this now you just want to go up here and click reinstall click uh yes now all this did is just it reinstalled Minecraft with Forge with the correct version rather than the default. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is download the mod. So go over here, you'll see in the, the side over here, you can click mods and we'll just go ahead and type Demon Slayer. And it should be the second one right here. Um, do not click Demon Slayer mod, it's this uh, Kimsu no Yaba. Uh, so just go ahead and click that. Now on this page, you go ahead and select the version of the Demon Slayer mod that you have. I downloaded the latest version as of this date. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just download this thing right here. I also want to include, this is optional, uh, the journey mod. I think that's pretty useful just so you can see the map around you and know where the heck you are. All right. So once you search journey, you'll find this journey map mod. Go ahead and click this. All right. I myself have the, the version 8.0, not 8.1. So I'll go ahead and download this one. So it matches. It needs to match whatever mods I have on my computer. So what that simply means is I have to also have the mods downloaded on my computer as I have them downloaded on the server. So uh, you can see I have the Demon Slayer mod over here. I have the journey map and you'll see the versions match. And I also need the version of Forge that I have on my computer to match the version of Forge I have on the server. Uh, do note that I have Optifine included as well just for shaders. Uh, that's something you do not need uh, on the server because it's not a server based uh, mod. It's more or less just client based mod. Now, uh, we should go ahead and turn on the server. You'll see I, I went back to the server page. And what you want to do here is you want to click start and I'll turn on your server. This might take a few minutes, so just be patient. Go ahead and accept that. All right, so the server's on. You see that it's uh, got this little plus sign. It says online, uh, so it's online. The next thing we need to do is to allow operators like yourself to edit the, the mod. For example, if you want to add cheats, change the time of the day or whatever, you just need to go to this console. And down here, just type OP and then whatever username you want to allow to be the operator. Just kind of be cautious of this. I want to make anybody an operator, but yourself, uh, you kind of want to be the operator. So I'm just going to put Wallimoto. Okay, so it says made Wallimoto a server operator. Great. So uh, you're done there. Go back to server. One thing I do want to let you know is that you could configure your server. So by clicking this little gear sign here in the main server option page, now this allows you to change the server to your liking. Anyway, I'm not changing anything here, but in case you do want to change stuff, you know, it allows you to do that pretty easily. So let's go back to server. Now, the thing you're gonna need, uh, which is important, I mentioned this at the very beginning, is your address that you're gonna plug into Minecraft. Uh, all you need to do is just copy it. By the time I upload this, uh, the server will not exist for Demon Slayer. It might be something else. So just uh, be cautious that you're not entering Demon Slayer if you go to this address. Okay, from here, you're gonna wanna open up your Minecraft launcher. Uh, as I mentioned before, make sure your Forge version matches the one uh, in your server. So this one is version 16.5, 36.2.34, and that's the same one that we installed uh, on the server. You can see it right here, 36.2.34. So go ahead and click play. All right, so now you enter multiplayer, uh, click proceed, and you're gonna wanna click add a server, and pull that Demon Slayer server address. It's that same address I showed you before. I'm gonna go back to the browser. Uh, we'll go ahead and copy this. Right, we just need that. Go back here. There we go. So that's the address we want, and just click done. And yeah, it's online here. You can see a check mark is on. Zero people are on. So go ahead and click that. There we go. We are in the game. Um, let's see. Oh, there we go. We got a Demon Slayer right there. 
Okay, we the mod's actually working, so I just need to make sure that it worked. We got a guy right here. I'm not going to fight him because he will kill me pretty easily. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, let me know. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.